slide now where they are telling you the clinical features of emphysema. So, if a person walks in, how will you know that it could be emphysema? So, uh, emphysema, just to tell you that the features don't show because it's a chronic disease, the features won't just show when the when it starts, right? It takes about a long time for this to occur and almost after one third of the uh, parenchyma pulmonary parenchyma is damaged only then you can see some clinical features okay and like i told you from bron bronchitis you can see the fe uh, clinical features around 50 however emphysema will be a decade later after about 60 okay now there's a long history here it is not going to be like sudden overnight uh, if the patient doesn't come to you the it's a long history it's a chronic thing there is slowly increasing exertional dyspnea and it is severe. Look at this word here, severe exertional dyspnea, right? There's difficulty in breathing. The patient is quite distressed and he's using accessory muscles of respiration, which are the accessory muscles of respiration, the sternocleidomastoid, etc. So you can definitely see the muscles, accessory muscles of respiration being used. So this should actually, when you look at the person itself, you will know this. When you can see how the muscles are being exerted for respiration. Barrel shaped, shaped chest you will see. Why, why is that barrel shaped chest? Because the lungs are full of air. There are distended air sacs full of air. The lungs are um, hyper inflated. So there is, uh, they are full of air. So there are hype, they are hyper resonant when you percuss. The chest is barrel shaped because the lungs have hyperinflated. Cough symptoms will be there very late. However, cough will be uh, the symptoms, clinical features for chronic bronchitis. However, for emphysema, the cough will be late occurrence. After dyspnea starts only, you will have cough. Now, there are no infections as such that you can see and this is also called as pink puffers because you can see that the person is well oxygenated and uh, hence they are called pink puffers. They have no uh, bluish because they are not having any such issue. They are pink puffers, they are well oxygenated and they have tachypnea, that is the, the higher respiratory rate per minute. Okay, So that is what they will have. They are pink puffers. So pink puffers, uh, how will I make you remember? Pink puffers, something like this. Pink puffers. Okay, They have weight loss. They will have a small heart and hyperinflated lungs because why they have hyperinflated lungs? Because they are full of air. Right? The air sacs are distended. They will have a small heart because of the hyperinflated lung. So, this is all about the clinical features of emphysema. Let me tell you that till now, what and all we have seen in emphysema? We saw uh, COPD, forms of COPD, then we saw emphysema, uh, main features that it will affect asini. It will be in adults, then there is alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency, distended air sacs, then what else did you see? Dyspnea, exertional dyspnea will be the clinical feature. Then we saw the definition of uh, emphysema, then we have also seen the clinical features of emphysema. Let's move on to the other things in the next video. Guys, this is a photo showing uh, barrel chest, please look at it. Okay.